we're gonna make apple dough with, with apples in it. Okay, cool. So come on in here with the camera. Hi guys. Hi everybody. It's Mr. Any. So we're just going to be making an apple tart today. One of the best ways to make an apple tart is to split up the two parts of the tart into two pieces. So one is the filling. The other is going to be the dough or the crust that you're going to be making. All right. So with the apples, all right, for the filling, what I did was I got six cups of apples Okay, then I'm going to chop up. I'm going to slice these apples up. I went to the farm, okay, and we went apple picking. And then when I got home, I took these apples, okay, about six cups worth, and I peeled them, and then I'm going to slice them into thin slices to lay on the top of the tart. Okay, so for that filling, you're going to need flour, okay? You're going to need uh, uh, cinnamon, of course, Right, and really the, the biggest part of the uh, filling is the sugar. I'm gonna okay, help you put everything in. you're gonna help me. Okay, so that's four t tablespoons of flour, about uh, about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons of cinnamon, and two cups of sugar. So there's a lot of sugar in this. Okay, so I'm using organic sugar there. Um, for the crust, you're gonna need two cups of flour. One full cup of butter or two sticks of butter. And you're also going to need um, four tablespoons of sugar. Okay. And then the coolest ingredient uh, that goes into the crust is the vinegar. So two tablespoons of vinegar at the end after you've mixed all of the other three ingredients together. Okay. So those are the ingredients that you're going to need to complete this dish. Now you're also going to need two bowls. Okay, one for the dough, one for the filling. You're going to need a tart pan in order to put your dough in and, you know, put into the oven. What's cool about a tart pan is, is that you'll butter it and then once it's done, you can push it up and you can push your tart out and, and, and have it on this pan and it makes the crust nice. You're also going to need a tablespoon like this a vegetable knife or a fruit knife. You're also gonna need a, uh, a peeler, okay, so you can peel your apples, and a one cup measurement, okay, on top of the tablespoon. So that's everything you're gonna need to complete the dish. Now I'm gonna get started with chopping these apples, and we'll be back in a few minutes. Again, so, uh, so I just finished chopping up the six cups of apples. So that's sitting here in this bowl. And then in this bowl, I'm going to make the dough in a few minutes. So let's just finish up the uh, apples, the filling while we're here. So we're going to sprinkle some of that cinnamon, right? So about two teaspoons of cinnamon. Then we're going to uh, also put in four tablespoons of flour. Okay. Get that. Can you start this? Nope, none of that, baby. We don't need any of that. Okay, so you'll start mixing that we're up. Dead, but okay, and then you're going to the slowly. Apples, so now we're gonna make tartar You're gonna start slowly adding the sugar, and as you add the sugar, you're gonna keep twisting. Okay, and you just keep folding it in. This is called folding. So you're just folding it. Okay, Don't you fold it for you're a little bit. It first. You'll add a little more sugar. You want to be gentle when you're doing it because you don't want to crush your apples up. I'm just going to end the rest of it. I'm slowly just fold it in. And try not to push to it be, all over your you stomach like I just did. You want it to be really, really good, Dada? Yeah, yeah, of course we want it to be really good. I want really to good. try it. When so I'm going to finish folding this stuff in here in a minute, okay? So I'm going to let that sit down for a second. Done with it? Yeah, you can try that when we're done with it. Uh, so we're going to, for the crust, we're going to add the two cups of Sugar. baking flour. That's baking flour. Flour. Then we're also going to add in the four tablespoons of sugar. Okay, and then we're gonna take the butter. Thank you. We're gonna take the butter, right? And we're gonna break it up into pieces. And let the butter not get warm, but at least room temperature, so you can kind of cut right through it. It becomes 
valuable. Okay, she got to get all the butter in there. Okay, now you're going to want to make sure you wash your hands. Okay, because this is something that unless you have a all-purpose mixer, it hurts you're my going to mix it with your hands, okay? And like I said, the vinegar portion of this, this thing in the red cup, Okay, the vinegar portion, you're going to pour in a second, okay? You're going to be able to do it. You're going to first mix this all together, and then once you have a dough, you're going to punch a little hole in it, and you're going to pour this into it and start mixing this into it, okay? So the vinegar goes at the very, very end. So you're going to make sure your hands are washed, okay? And you're going to just start grabbing it and squeezing it if you don't have an all-purpose mixer. Good, yeah, you go make sure those hands are washed, baby. because Every time after dinner, you should wash your hands. Yes, okay, so why don't you go do that, okay? Yeah, And I'm going to be back in a few minutes, and we should have the dough done and the filling done, and we should show you at that point uh, how you're going to spread the dough into the pan. Just finished mixing the apple, uh, sugar, cinnamon, uh, and flour mixture, and this is what it should look like at the end. Okay, so that's just going to sit there. Um, kind of chill for a minute. The flour, the flour, the sugar, um, and the butter mixture is this is what it looks like once you've mixed all three of those ingredients together. Now we're going to punch a hole. Okay, go ahead, punch a hole right in the middle. Go ahead, after you wash your hands, right? You got to punch a hole straight down. Okay, good. That's a good hole. Okay. No, do not eat any of that. Give that to me. Okay, let's press that down on the there's other side. Butter. And now you're going to do, yeah, there's butter in there, but it's mixed with flour. So you don't want to ever put that stuff in your mouth because you'll get very, very sick. So you're going to wash your hands. So when you're done mixing any of this stuff together, remember to always wash your hands and not eat any of that stuff that's on your hands. Okay, so now we just begin mixing all that vinegar into the dough and it should turn into like more like a pa pasty okay and what what's what's great about this is that you're gonna have to paste this dough okay into the top pan okay so you push it down you're gonna do whatever you got to do to get the vinegar into all the dough okay and as you can see it starts to turn into this paste Okay, so close, you can see it's pasty. And then you're gonna take your tart pan, you're simply just gonna place this down in it, and you're gonna begin spreading it. I'm back. Yay, okay, you're back. We're gonna go for a quick commercial break while I finish pushing this into the pan, and we'll be back in a short bit. See you soon. Hello, I'm Jasmine. Thank you for watching Just a Taste. Before we move on with the show, we are going to take a moment to interview our city body president. Hi, my name is Kelsey Arthur from Class 802 and I am your student body president. I would like to thank you guys so much for voting for me and your gratitude. Question number one, what are plans for the school year? Some plans for the school year are to have, maybe have fun trips planned and Maybe we can bring back school books. Also, if you have prom, I would love to have a prom committee so they can bring new ideas to the table. Question number two. Are there any changes you would like to make at the school? Some things I would like to change is maybe having more options on the school lunch schedule. Also, maybe we can have a party for every month based on a topic. Maybe we can also use our phones based on class points. Question number three. What made you want to run for a student body president? Something that made me want to run for student body president was the urge for me to do something better and how I could achieve that goal. Okay. Question number four. Do you have anything to say to your supporters out there? I definitely do. I would like to say that you guys have helped me throughout the election for voting for me so I can bring new ideas and perspectives. So I would like to say thank you. Okay. Now let's get back to our show just finished spreading out the dough into our tart pan. Okay? Excellent. We'll do something with that in a little bit. It's, no, it's for my tent. 
Okay, excellent. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the apple filling, okay, and pour it into the pie crust that's already in the tart pan. Now, we've also already have gotten the oven up to 400 degrees, okay? So you want to make sure you already have the oven at 400 degrees before completing this part. That way, when you're done doing it, you can immediately move it into the oven. Okay, and then you're going to take you're going to take the tart pan and you're going to put it onto a baking rack that way if it bubbles over at all All right, so the apple tart, I just got it out of the oven. Remember, 400 degrees for 40 minutes after you add your filling into the crust. Um, so I'm going to attempt in a few minutes to transfer the uh, pie from this pan onto the uh, um, baking sheet here, so at least it can, uh, the wire sheet, so it can cool. And then I'm gonna pop it up after and uh, show you guys what the crust actually looks like. So took it out of the oven, going to let it cool for about half an hour, and then I'm going to do uh, the movements uh, with the... So I removed the outer part of the tart pan, which looks like this, okay, so it pops off, right? And the bottom of the tart pan is still there. Um, and now we're up to the part where we can eat it, and it's always good to get some whipped cream to go with it, and... Um, Enjoy yourselves. Tune in on December 17th for our next episode starring Mr. Muriente. Thanks for watching. Just a taste.